Hey all, this is Anirudh. Today I am going to show you how you can convert a drop down to a radio button or a checkbox in Power Apps. I am assuming that at the back end you are using SharePoint list. When you are creating one SharePoint list, and in this SharePoint list, if you want to create one choice column, there are three options at the bottom. Uh, you can select either drop down of those choices or radio button or checkboxes. Let's say I have created three different uh, column choice column a b and c a i have selected drop down b i selected ready button and c i have selected checkboxes it does not mean that whenever you put this column in a form in power apps it automatically render as a type of choice you have made it always be a drop down whether you select a drop down or ready or ready button or checkbox then you will wonder why these options are there because in the sharepoint default form you can find it like this checkboxes ready button or drop down but for power apps it will automatically automatically render as a uh, drop down so in today's session i will show you how you can convert those drop down to uh, radio button or checkboxes so i have created one list for that bug list so it will be a title of the bug description of the bug then priority in this priority i have selected drop drop down menu okay then it will be severity then it will be a radio button and then for force affected what kind of force affect if this bug pressed so basic intermediate advance i made it a checkbox okay now i am creating one app basic app Okay. Here I will insert one button first. And there will be second one. So it will be home screen. Let's say now home screen start button is navigate to main screen. So now this is the main screen. I'll put one first. I will select my data source not list okay now one set of form In this form this form you can put like uh, um, bug list okay now what do we title and there be I'm directly showing you priority one priority two and priority three so priority severity rest the uh, force of it. Okay, will be like this. Those one. Let me select one by one. Okay, as said, everything will be a drop down. Now one by one. If I select, you can see it is like this. So first, I will change the severity as I selected radio button. Unlock. Go here. Radio button. Put it as a layout horizontal. This will be the drop down item source. 
received this address and copy the name of the default control and delete right now you can Style number one. Now I will create one button. It will be submit, and I will directly select form. Then it will be field one. I will navigate to so when home screen will start. And home screen will start the time I will reset on okay so test one what if you one this is one I'll put now you can remember case 2 I am selected and submit go here this is the new one just put it and this two is came so I did not change any code I did not change anything okay next have you made a checkbox like this Hello. go here Select one gallery. Can be a flexible gallery. So gallery is actually not directly insert into a data card. We need to do some different style here. Like this. Okay. Now here we need to do is this is the gallery okay so this is the gallery in this gallery what i will do i'll put one box okay then Because I will put it like this and here it will be this I don't have that so now you can see the checkboxes appeared okay next what do you need to do whenever so every checkbox have two event uncheck no on uncheck okay so what i will do in on on check of every uh, te text box i mean check box i will collect the data here collection so i am giving the name check check area c h e c k Like this okay and uh, on uncheck you need to remove it from the collection this where title is equal to well So this is how it is so how you 
can create it okay now what i need to do is i need to fill this um drop down with whatever i am uh, checking or unchecking the value okay so in short whatever the collection i am getting after checking or unchecking everything i will uh, create here okay For default selected item, we need to for example. So this is the check. So one check area. Then Whenever select, what I will say. Now what I will do is select this. I will not change any kind of code. I have selected all three. You will see here this is all three of these. Okay, so that's all.